Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo. God, I need you to just speak today. Y'all, this just finna be a Holy Spirit flow because it's just so much that um needs to be discussed. Okay, one. Um listen, God raising up some spiritual gangsters. Okay, so we cannot be judging the people God is raising up for him. We everybody has a past. Like it's time to jot that religious spirit because y'all the religious spirit makes you put God in a box. Okay. And this is not a season. This is not the times. This is not the place this is this this channel right here we're not putting god in no box on this channel i'm being obedient to whatever he tell me to do and what he tells me to do surely comes to pass let me tell y'all something it surely comes to pass i'm not perfect i have my days um yeah like it's times when i doubt too like listen like it's it's times out here when prophets need a prophet you see what i'm saying we go through things ourselves okay it's not like a it's not like an easy walking apart for us. No, if anything, it's harder for us. We have to deliver, we have to deliver things that that's good and bad. You see what I'm saying? Like, who wants to talk about bad things? Nobody. But we gotta be obedient and do what God tells us to do. Okay. Um, so yes, uh, oof, y'all. Um yeah y'all so you know it's a fight for me out here always always pray to me, pray for me when um y'all are led to because baby whoa, i take all types of prayers okay i ain't worried about nobody trying to curse me because god already told me i will bless those who bless you and those who curse you i will curse so i'm not worried about no negative things i'm just worried about doing the will of my father okay my abba my head my my head of my life okay my alpha and omega okay my love okay i love this man he knows i love him so let's just without further ado let's just get into it okay baby somebody out there listen do not we don't judge on this channel neither because one thing about god he will find you right where you are and he will help you right where you are on the level that you are at people make it seem like you just have to start by reading the bible <clears throat> and not everybody has access to a bible you see what i'm saying so god will really start speaking to you and helping you right there in the area where you are so i have a song video a song lyric uh thing that came in my head this morning and it has it goes two different ways okay um the song is called uh since when by young nudie okay we don't judge over here and it's crazy because I used to listen to Nudie back in my past, okay? Um, so the music that God gives me to be able to break down and he switches my perspective on it. First of all, let me just say, it's definitely mind blowing when he does this. And two, I was kind of, you know, I was kind of listening to all types of different stuff out there. But, you know, I had to listen to my Nudie back then, okay? That was, that was Nudie, yes. Okay, East Atlanta's on six, you feel me? Okay, but anyway, let's just get into it, y'all. Because this right here, what he told me. And the only part that, no, and it's not the whole song. Don't get me wrong. I don't curse. I don't use profanity, none of that, okay? So the only part that um came was the first beginning verse that came to me this morning. And it says, I know they don't like me. They scared to come try me. They scared to come try me. You try me, I got it. You know that I got it. The pistol is on me. I cock and I pop it. You know I'm a pop it. I aim at your head and do gonna drop it. Y'all people gonna drop it, okay? okay so this breakdown goes to Two ways um the first way i want to talk to y'all about is um y'all somebody's already connected to god and somebody is called out to god has called out to god okay now let me get serious real quick because this is this is serious okay so for the person who is already connected to god you have been going through extreme warfare you have been struggling okay and you're not finna keep struggling any longer like you are you know you protected you know who you are in christ you know god got your back you know you are protected by the father the son and the holy spirit you know you have a relationship and you know these demons is after you you know that hell hates you you know that the enemy 
enemy is constantly knocking at your door. You know that these people, witches and warlocks are constantly plotting against you and sending their way, sending things your way. But I'm here to let you know that this breakdown of this song is letting you know that what you are doing, baby, you need to continue doing it. Continue staying attached to God. Continue doing what God has told you. Continue being obedient and walking in Christ because God is indeed, God is indeed protecting you. Okay. Listen, the demons are now in hell. The witches are now in their little areas having a having a debate about you, baby. They are saying, you go get them. No, you go get them. You go get them. No, you go get them. It's your turn. You go get them. You go get them. They are now dreading the fact that they have to constantly mess with you because you are their assignment. <laughs> Woo! Did y'all just hear what I just said? They are dreading the fact that they have to continue messing with you because you are their assignment. They don't want to keep messing with you, but they have no choice because there's no rest for the wicked. Do you hear what I'm saying? They have sold their souls to the enemy. They are all, they are working for the devil. And because they are working for the devil, the devil has assigned these people, you baby. And because they have assigned these people, you, and you are rooted and grounded and walking in Christ and know who you are, baby. Let me explain something to you. You know when the enemy is coming up against you. You know no weapons formed against you shall prosper. And they know that you know who you are. So they don't want to keep messing with you, but baby, they stuck with you. And they dread messing with you. Every day of their life, they're going to dread coming up against you because you got that Bible. You got that pistol, okay? You aim it and you cock it, okay? And you pop it, okay? And you do it. Every single time, you know your weapons. You fight with the word of God. You fight with your spiritual armor on. You fight with the belt of truth. You got everything. You're walking in righteousness. You are being obedient to God. So anytime the enemy comes up against you, baby, you know what to do. And you know how to get them down. And you knock each and every individual demon down one by one every single time. They are dreading the fact that they have to constantly attack you. Because they know they can't touch you. My God, that was a mouthful. They know that they can't touch you. They know that you're not bothered. They know that you know who you are. They know that every weapon that they throw your way will never prosper because you are rooted and grounded with the Father. You have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit backing you up. And because you have them backing you up, you know that they're backing you up. And you are now untouchable. And you know you're untouchable. And they hate it. Hell hates you, baby. Your name holds weight in hell. Congratulations. Your name holds weight in hell. Do you hear me? Your name holds weight in hell to the point that the demons are trembling to even come up against you. The demons run from you when you come around. Your name holds weight in hell. Come on now. Come on now. You make hell nervous. Woo! What a blessing it is to walk around this earth and know that you make hell nervous. That's a blessing within itself. That's something you need to thank God for yourself. That's something you need to thank God for. You need to thank God for picking you up and turning you around and placing your feet on a solid ground and you continuously walking in righteousness, walking in truth and honesty, walking and being obedient to the Father, paying attention to the Holy Spirit because you have the power of God backing you up. And because of that, your name is known in hell. Ha! Huh. Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. Congratulations on being, being like Paul. The demons know you. They see you when you're coming. They hear you before you even say a word. Oh my God. They feel you before you even enter their presence. Your name is known in hell. So they are now trembling and scared to come up against you. The witches are scared to come up against you. The demons are scared to come up against you. Hell is scared to come up against you because of who you are attached to. Who you got backing you up. Ah, welcome to the front line, baby. Woo! Welcome to the front line of the war, baby. You got people to defend. You got a nation to save. You got a generation to protect. Do you hear me? All because you have been obedient and you have made your, your, your name known in hell. 
So now you can help other people. It's time to walk in them spiritual gifts. It's time to walk in that prophetic gift. It's time to walk in that healing gift. Because the demons know you and they'll see you coming. So because of you, people are getting ready to be healed. Because of you, people are getting ready to be saved. Because of you, people are getting ready to be delivered. And you have no idea the anointing that is over your life right now. You have no idea the season you just stepped into. You have no idea that the, all the warfare you went through was doing nothing but making hell fear you. That's why they're coming up against you. Because they know you. They're not finna throw little things your way. They're throwing big stuff your way. They're throwing big stuff your way because they gotta knock you down. Because if they can knock you down, they can knock down every person you're attached to, baby. But not in this season. It's time for you to operate in the things that God has told you to operate in, baby. Oh my God. It's time for you to operate in the gifts, in the businesses, in the ministries, in the things that God has entrusted you to operate in, Lord. God, thank you, Jesus. Because your name is known in hell. And there are people out here waiting for you. There are people out here waiting on you to operate in your gifts so they can get a breakthrough, so they can get a healing, so they can get a deliverance. It's time, baby. Your name is known in hell. They fear you. You don't fear them no more. Ha! Huh? Don't fear them anymore. Don't worry about what's coming your way no more because you got the power backing you up. You got the authority that Jesus has given you to cast those demons back to hell, to make those demons tremble and to get a breakthrough, not just for you, but for those also attached to you. It is time for you to operate in the things God has told you to do. Ha! Huh? Hell is nervous because of you, baby. Oh, I felt that so heavy. Oh. Hell is nervous because of you, baby. To God be the glory for you. 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 Now, this song also goes another way. My God. This song also goes another way. There is somebody out there who has called out to God and God is talking to you right in the level that you are on. God is talking to you. He is looking for you. He is waiting for you. He is wanting you to reach out to him right where you are, but you scared. You scared because you are so full of shame. You are so full of guilt. You are so full of pride. You are so full of ego. You want to know Christ. You want to walk in, you want to walk in, in his uh, will and power for your life. You want to get your authority known, but you're scared. Baby, I rebuke and bind the spirit of fear over your life right now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke and bind that demon of shame. I rebuke and bind that spirit of guilt. I rebuke and bind that spirit of you not feeling worthy enough to turn to the father who wants you. There is no reason to be scared because once you join the right team, oh my God, once you get on to God's winning team, baby, nothing can touch you. Nothing will be able to stop you and everything that God has for you is going to fall right upon you, baby. It's time for you to make this decision right here, right now, today. It is no reason to be scared. God wants you as you are. So what you drink? So what you smoke? So what you curse? So what you did evil and dark things? So what? You are right where God has you. You are right where you need to be. And God does not want you to go any lower than where you are now, baby. He wants you to reach for him right where you are. But you scared. Do not be scared. God has not given us the spirit of fear. That's nobody but the enemy trying to keep you in the darkness. That's nobody but the enemy trying to keep you in the blindness. That's nobody but the enemy trying to keep you deaf from hearing God speaking to you. Baby, let me tell you something. Reach for him right now because he's waiting for you. Ah, he's waiting for you. He wants you to, he wants to show you that everything the enemy has introduced for you introduced you to is not for you he wants to show you that everything satan is blinding you from is not for you he wants to show you he wants to show you the new you but you gotta surrender what you're doing you gotta be determined you gotta want it bad just as bad as satan is trying to keep you bound you gotta want to get free bad enough and the minute you make that decision to get free bound bad, get unbound bad enough baby god is ready god is ready for you baby god wants to do something for you in your life 
Mm, 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 mm. There is no reason to be scared, baby. God wants to show you that Satan can be afraid of you. God wants to show you that the demons that you once dibbled and dabbled in is afraid of you, really. That's why the demon is trying to keep you down. That's why Satan is trying to embed so much fear on you. So if you do do right, he making you scared to do right because he don't want you to do right. He don't want you to turn to Christ. He don't want you to get right. And he's only doing that because he wants you to keep you. He wants to keep you bound. One thing about Satan, baby, when Jesus returns, he don't want to go to that lake of fire by himself. So he's on a mission right now in this time. He's on a mission right now that he's been on ever since he's been falling to this earth. The same mission that he was on back then is the same mission that he is on today. And that same mission is to bring as many with him to the lake of fire that he can in the name of Jesus. Come on, God. The mission that he is on is to bring as many as he can with him to the lake of fire. Baby, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Make your decision and make your decision today because God wants to do something in your life. <laughs> God wants to do something in your life. He wants to show you things that you ain't never seen before. He wants to show you who you are. He wants you to operate in the authority given to you by Jesus Christ. He wants you to know that these demons is really scared of you. That's why they're trying to hold on to you. Ah, you finna do something in this earth, baby. But you can't do it if you don't turn to the one who can show you. The one who can save you, the one who can clean you, the one who can heal you, the one who can deliver you, the one who wants to save you because he right there waiting for you. My God, my God, turn to him today. Turn to him today. Oh, my heart. Turn to him today, baby. I'm so excited for you because God, whoever you are, you finna do big things. The minute you turn to Christ, your life is going to change. The minute you turn and pick Christ, your life is getting ready to change. Everything may seem like it's falling apart, but God is putting it together. Turn to him. He wants you. In Jesus name. Y'all please have a blessed day today. Receive what I just said to y'all. Because baby, God is doing a new thing in this season. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. He building up some spiritual warriors. He building up some spiritual gangsters. Okay. It's some people out there who finna be like Peter. It's some people out there who finna be like Paul. It's some people out there who finna be. Listen. Just listen. I want to be like him. I want to be like Jesus. I want to be like Jesus. Let me tell y'all something. If y'all feel God pulling at your heart. He want to change you and be, and if he put, if he's pulling at your heart, he wants to change you and make you a new you, turn you into somebody you never thought you could be, turn you into somebody and reveal to you different things about yourself that you didn't even know was inside of you, but you got to want them to change starts within. See, this world has blinded us to make it seem like if we don't have the materialistic things, if we don't have the husband, if we don't have the money, if we don't have the car, if we don't have the car, if the, if we don't have the house, then we have nothing. No, baby. That's not how God gets down. I say this all the time. And those of you who know me, know me. God going to change your heart first. He going to make sure you he, he going to make sure you got the fruits of the spirit before he gives you anything materialistic. Because if you don't have the insights to be able to handle the outside and material things that he wants to place inside of your life. If he can't trust you to, 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 to protect the insides, your peace, your joy, your happiness, if he can't trust you, to tr if he can't trust you enough to, to protect and withhold and, and follow him and seek him consistently and, 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 and be faithful with the few that he's given you on the inside, he can't trust you with the big things that he wants to bless you with on the outside. Satan going to give you everything that you want. This world is going to give you everything that you want, whether you're ready for it or not, because he he, Satan knows that you're going to run straight into the ground with it. You ain't going to have no self-control. You ain't going to have no peace. You ain't going to have no joy. You're going to be lacking the insides, but you got the outsides. So you think you're doing good. You think you're living life. No. Mm -mm. God going to teach you how to be content with your insides before he bless you with them outsides. Nothing in this world. Houses ain't worth it. Cars is not worth it. Money is not worth it if you don't have Jesus. To help you sustain it. Jesus makes everything worth it. Jesus makes every gift that he gives you worth it. Jesus will make you content with the joy that you did not have before. 
before he gives you something materialistic. Y'all hear me? I ain't even got no notes today, y'all. This is just Holy Spirit flowing and talking. But listen, congratulations to both of y'all. Because one of y'all finna give y'all life to Christ. One of y'all finna give y'all life to Christ. And another, and another, baby, and another one of y'all name is known in hell. Continue walking in your authority. Okay, and the other one, get ready to walk in your authority. Okay, in Jesus name, I pray. I love y'all. I love you so much. And I always say this. If you ever need somebody to talk to, I am here for you. I understand. And don't let nobody tell y'all the walk with Christ is easy. No, baby. It's not easy at all. It's nowhere near easy. But I would rather walk with Christ and, and, and know that things are getting right. <laughs> than to walk with Satan and burn for the rest of eternal life, okay? I love y'all, bye.